So what's going on? What's going on? What's going on, guys? It's your boy Tay, and today we're about to go to Habitat for Humanity today. I almost said Habitat for Humanity, but we're going to Habitat for Humanity today. Y'all know that's one of my favorite stores, Habitat Restore, Habitat, any kind of Habitat is pretty decent to go into because they have a lot of items that people do overlook and it is a donation center as well. They're getting all kinds of items, mostly like household. You can find electrical items, plumbing items, things like that in Habitat and it's very profitable in there as well. I find tools. I find all kinds of randomness in there. I found a piece at a Habitat. Didn't know, didn't even know what it was. I just Googled it and sold it for over 140 bucks. And yeah, so this Habitat has been pretty good to me. I recommend that you find a Habitat near you and just go check it out if you've never ever been to a Habitat for Humanity before. But with all that being said, we are about to go to Habitat because we're about those profits, baby. Y'all know that we're about those profits, profits, and more of those profits. And if you're new to the channel, should have said that probably about 45 seconds ago. My name is Dante. Welcome. It is Prison to Profit. We like raiding all these stores and try to find as much profit as we can by spending as little amount of money as we can and yeah that's pretty much the game plan we want to go find something for like a dollar and hopefully brings us like a million that, that would be nice i would love to run into an item that you know it's gotta be a million dollars just a nice little 250 grand i take that a dollar into 250 grand i'm pretty sure it's probably possible because people throw away all kinds of valuable items every single day and people have stuff in their house that they don't even think about looking up so with that being said let's go to the store and see if we can find some profits for my eBay store. Let's go. So welcome, if you need to know anything about me, I have four years of eBay experience and five years of Amazon experience, and I'm a full-time reseller. So let's come in here and see if we can find some items at Habitat. The first items I do run across are these books. These books are out of place. They aren't with the other books. So let me go ahead and see exactly what they are about. Older books do bring in some profits, and you know, that's what we're about. So. After giving this book a scan, you can see they had comps for like around $55. No sold comps, so I just put that book to the side because you never know. We picked up another book called Square Foot Estimating. Same scenario, you see it's selling for a high price, but yet there really aren't any sold comps. So I'm just gonna put that book to the side because it didn't have enough high priced sellers. So I just put it to the side. And then we pick up this estimating for general contracting book. And you can see people are trying to sell it for like $30 plus. And then we have some people trying to sell them without pictures. So that's a maybe. And then we run across this last book, Building Construction Illustrated. Um, and then I saw a sold comp immediately. You see it's $45. And then you see another one down below for 50 bucks. So we're definitely going to grab that book. The square foot estimating, no sold comps, no high sale prices. Definitely going to just put that book back. And then we see this free modeling production book that's over here trying to hide. You can't hide from me, but it has a lot of writing on the inside. Not really that good of a book, but we're still going to check comps because if it's high, we're going to get it. But as you can see, there are no sold comps, not even too many people selling the book. So we put that book back. We're only going to grab these three books. One, has no sold comps, but it has a high sale price. I feel like one of these books can sell and will be okay. But let's go back in the store and see if we can find something else. And we run across this club. I saw the club, so I wanted to put the books down and just kind of give the area a scan. I knew I was gonna grab the club, but then I saw this model set right next to it. And that intrigued me because one of my friends, Derek from Fundamentals of Side Hustling, he got me into models. And every time I see a model, I'll make sure that I check up the comps because models sell great trust me models are actually decent in profits especially older ones even like the smaller pieces to it so right now i'm just looking at all the model pieces and i wanted to grab the club because people were walking down the aisle and i didn't want them to get it not even gonna lie so i went ahead and just picked it up and make sure that i checked the comps on it because even though it was an older item i didn't know what it was worth it intrigued me so i figured it would be valuable somewhat only like around a 20 dollars profit or so but hey that's pretty decent. Those are definitely within my personal profit margins. So walking around the store, I'm realizing that I don't have a buggy and I have already picked up a few items, but I still want to kind of walk around and see what's on the shelves as I'm passing by. Saw this battery pack and just that was just too much money. They wanted thirty dollars for it. As far as this thermocoupler digital thermometer, it just really wasn't worth any money at all. It was only worth like six, seven bucks. So I definitely going to put that item back. So let's go ahead and go get our cart because we did find some pretty good items. Definitely a good trip. 
Oh, I'm not leaving. <laughs> oh, okay. Good. You're going to have to up. <laughs> now that we got our cart, let's get back on the hunt for profits. I did see this box that was just sitting here and I like items that are in boxes because I like to be able to just scan the UPC code and just keep it moving and you know it's a Wagner product it's decent but when I looked inside it just looked a little bit kind of too banged up a lot of paint on the item itself I wanted to come back and just double check the model to make sure that it was worth my money they're really vacuuming here right now I know, we're basket now, I need a buggy. <laughs> so I go ahead and just go with my gut instinct and just pick up the model. Comps did look good. I can sell some parts individually and I'll break that down a little bit later on. So we did have to go get a buggy. Now let's go walk around the store and see if we can find some more items. I did see this little dog cart right here, but I mean, they wanted 30 bucks for it and I don't have a dog, so there's no point in me getting it. But this is the area where I found a random item that was worth like $120 and I didn't know what it was. I just came over here and doing what I'm doing now, picking up these items, scanning them and throwing them in the cart if I think they are valuable. Um, no luck today in finding a hundred and something dollar item, but we still found some small items. Most of these are for like a dollar, 25 cents, 50 cents, and then you have to take into account that the color of the day most of these items are going to get discounted additionally so that's pretty good did see this am fm radio it was only a dollar so figured that'd be a nice little sale or i can keep it for myself if i'm outside or who knows it might come in handy one day let's walk around and continue try to find something that i've never seen before something if it stands out i've been in the store several times like i've said before so i can kind of run through and be like okay this item's been here so there's no point in me looking at it these items are an example that they've never been in here before, but the problem is that they're only a dollar, but they don't have any sold comps. So I had to leave them behind. I did envision having the stop sign and then just putting it outside in the random spots. But also you see the vacuum cleaner, you know I do like selling vacuum cleaners, but this vacuum cleaner is $80. Although it does have a good resale value of about 150, I just don't wanna spend 80 to make 150. I am one of those people who like walking every single aisle, so I will hit every single aisle. Um, you won't find nothing in every aisle, obviously, but you never know. Something new may be in an aisle that you've never walked down before if you don't walk all the aisles. So just make sure you're walking down every single aisle, checking everything out, making sure if anything pops out at you, you pick it up and you look at it and you scan it. Welcome to one of my favorite spots in the store, the bargain bin. You have 20 items for $1. That's five cents per item. Normally they have a bunch of junk in here, not gonna lie, but you will always be able to find items that you can flip for like $10, $12. I've sold items for $15 out of this bin before, but they have like a lot of wheels in here today. Just a lot of, not, not anything that I really wanna scan and just take a chance on, but they do have something that I saw that was down below that I definitely wanted to pick up. And it's this Kirby vacuum cleaner. I don't know if you see it down there on the bottom, but I saw it and it's over here in the 20 items for a dollar spot. That just doesn't seem right to me. Um, immediately my mind goes to it doesn't work, but there's a bunch of attachments and stuff in here that I can probably sell. So definitely gonna look this up. It's only five cents that I think, or maybe it's just misplaced. We'll find out a little bit later. Walking around the store, this is an area where we always see books. I don't know why I even touch records. I always touch them for some reason and I never see one that I was like, ooh, let me scan it. Cause every time I scan an album, it's always worthless. So I leave me some tips in the comment section as I leave you a tip. So you see this book right there that was just sitting there. I decided to scan it and you can see that they have some decent comps, but when we go to the sold comp, uh, 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 there are no sold comps. So this book is completely worthless. It's only worth, it's only selling for a dollar, but there are no sold comps. So I'm going to leave it behind and be who God meant you to be. You will set the world on fire. Well, hope you don't set the world on fire because I don't think God would want you to do that, but he would want you to find these profits. You can see this little soccer thing I saw. And y'all remember this popcorn thing that's been in here for like seven years? thing still here it's 
So you can see this Rolodex is three bucks. I mean, I would get it, but it has none of the cards inside of it. And you can see it would be 75% off because it's blue, but it don't have any of the cards. So even though it's a genuine Rolodex, I just don't think the value would be there without the cards. I mean, I would have to drop the price. I mean, it could be worth it in the end, but I just don't feel like buying it, I guess. Maybe a little bit too heavy for my liking as well. If it was a first class item, yeah, but I'm not gonna wanna ship this, so. Uh, yeah, especially without the cards. So, no cards, no buy. And pretty much everything else I've seen here before, and I know what all the value and prices are, so I can just kind of keep it moving. I do like this chalkboard, but I'm not paying $10 for a chalkboard. But yeah, I think that's probably pretty much it for this trip. I've then walked around the entire store and we found a few good items, which we will go over when we get to the house. Uh, yeah, because we have to talk about some of the stuff when we get to the house. So yeah, always looking at baby stuff still. See this big old playpen, 25 bucks. I mean, this looks a little bit too dirty for me, I guess. If it wasn't as dirty, I would probably consider buying it. But then it has a hole over here, which, I mean, it's not a big deal. But, you know, if it's here in a few weeks and I don't have a playpen, maybe I'll consider it. But the cleaning alone is going to cost the price of just buying a new one. So, yeah, that part. As I was walking to the checkout, I did see this glass set and I wanted to buy it. But I really can barely see the name brand. So I just left it behind. I want to be able to buy pictures, but eh, maybe one day the vacuum in the background is disrespectful. Question. I don't know if it was a mistake or not. This box was over there in that little restore bargain oh. bin thing. Yep. Five cents. Huh? Five cents. That's what this is? Yeah. Okay. When he said five cents, I hurried up and put everything on the counter. That is a good deal. I don't care where you're at. I would have paid more than five cents. I would have paid five dollars. I probably would have paid. Yeah, I would have paid five dollars. That's probably the most I would have paid. So let's go ahead and get all these items and check out and see exactly what we got at the house, baby. So as you can see, I got my hands full and we grabbed some pretty good items and it's snowing outside. So yeah, I guess we're gonna go to the house. I'm probably gonna stop by Goodwill to be honest. I'm probably just gonna run in there for five minutes. Um, I was only here for like, what, 20 minutes or so? And we found probably over a hundred something dollars worth of profit. So that's a good thing. We're gonna go home, break all these items down and then yeah, see what the profits are. So I'll see you when we get to the house. What's up guys, we are at the house. Um, let's go ahead and go over all the items that we grabbed when we were at Habitat for Humanity. That was a good stop too, because I wasn't even planning on stopping. I was just dropping some stuff off at the post office and I was like, you know what? Let me ride by Habitat. I ain't been there in a little bit. So, you know, and I'm glad I did because we found some good items. Like, I, people don't go to Habitat for some reason because some of these items shouldn't have been there. And I even saw some people scanning and looking up items, but they left a lot of items. That goes to show again, everybody's always looking for different items. So the first item that we found was this just box. You see the box was $5 on it. And then inside the box, it said that it was a Helicat starter. So I was like, hmm, let me look it up. Look like a little model rocket thing. And then inside the box, it has a lot of the pieces for the rocket. This was the first thing that stood out to me. This is an Estes electric beam, I guess it helps propel the rocket. I'm not an expert. I don't know how this exactly works, but this piece alone by itself, I believe it was selling for around 15 bucks or so, maybe somewhere around that range. And then the actual pieces of like the platform for the rocket ship to take off, like all this if you put it together, which I'm not about to put it all together, but I think that will sell it for like around 14 to 20 something bucks too by itself. I wanna say I saw something that was selling for like 49 bucks. Um, there was a bunch of different random prices. And then they had like even the rockets, I guess right here, this is helps the fuse for sending the rockets off. The actual, the actual rocket isn't in here, but hey, I mean, I paid $5 for all of this. At the minimum, I should make at least 40, the minimum I'm gonna say 35 bucks. I was gonna say 40 bucks, but the minimum I should make at least 35 bucks if I break everything down and sell it individually. I could just put it up on auction and start it at like around 30 bucks and see what goes from there. Um, but who knows, I paid $5 for this entire set. So hopefully we can make some decent, not hopefully, we're gonna make some good decent money off of this little rocket ship setup thingy ba -bobber. Then we found this Ford speaker harness. This is only a dollar. I think I saw comps for 
nine dollars seven dollars so i should probably profit like around eight bucks on this item with that being said i did purchase it because it only cost me a dollar why not and it's new in the package it has a nice little scan so i can just literally scan this item and it'll come up sell similar very very quick to list so when it's all said and done that little five bucks plus that i'll make off of it will be worth it then I saw this AM FM radio. You can strap it to your arm. Maybe if I start working out, going to the gym and stuff, I'll have something to listen to. Probably not. I'll just get an MP3 player or use my phone like everybody else. But with that being said, yeah, I found this AM FM radio. Bought it for a dollar. And then I think green is like, what, 75% off or maybe it's 10, 20% off or actually it might be the full price. Yeah, green's full price, white's percent off and something, something else. We took a picture of it. So maybe y'all will see exactly how much everything is worth. Um, yeah, sliding over because y'all can see the little light glowy thing. Everybody loves to see in the glow lamp. But anyways, yeah, so the AM FM radio, I think I saw comps for only around 15 bucks, maybe anywhere between like nine and 15 bucks. I'm just going to say nine for the safe zone, but anywhere between nine and 15 fifteen dollars. So hopefully I can make at least seven bucks on this item or so. And then we found the club. Uh, the main reason I wanted to look it up because it was something that I remember from like my childhood, like seeing the club commercials and people breaking into cars. And yeah, so that being said, it's the club. It's like one of the originals, patent pending and all that good stuff. I'm sure the patent did get uh, approved. So we know it's not pending anymore. But with that being said, I paid $5 on it. This isn't a green sticker. It's a yellow sticker. So I think I get some percentage off on this. I don't know exactly the percentage I got off on it. So we're just going to say I paid $4 and some change. And with that being said, I saw some sold comps of $20, anywhere between like 17 and we're going to say like 30 something dollars. But hopefully I'll get like around 20 something dollars plus them paying shipping. So, cause it does have a key and it is a popular club. So I only paid five. Hopefully I can get at the very minimum 15 profit. So yeah, not too bad. And then the main reason that I did grab the club was because I saw sold comps like all the time. So that always helps me decide the profit margins I'm willing to take on certain items. I just ripped the receipt. So yeah, I just ripped the receipt. So with that being said, okay, so now I have my receipt out. I can kind of tell you the exact prices I paid for these items real quick. So the club has a $5 tag on it, but I only got charged $3.78. So I'm definitely gonna make $20 on that club. And then anything that I paid a dollar for, I only paid 75 cents. One item I paid 50 cents for. And the books, I paid the right price for the books. The first item I showed you or second item, I don't know, but this one sold for 75 cents. So you pretty much get the gist. I didn't pay exactly what the price tag said on all the items. But anyways, let's get to these books. So I saw all of the books, which y'all saw in the video. And I will say, one of them may never sell, but this one should sell. This building construction illustrated book, I saw one sold on auction for 46 bucks. Then I saw one sell regular for like 40 to 50 bucks. Or so. I'm not exactly sure on that price. I was just script, uh, scrolling and then I saw the price and you know how you get happy sometimes and you just stop what you're doing and just put it in the cart. It was it was kind of one of those things. I was, I was happy, saw the price. I was like, yeah, let me go ahead and put that in the cart. So yeah, we should make at least 40 something dollars on this book right here. Uh, yeah, I'll probably take $35 plus, but we're gonna try to make that 40 something for the first two months while I let it sit. And then after two months, if it hasn't sold, then I'll drop the price and try to make like 30. But yeah, you can't beat that. And then this book had high had high prices. People were selling them for like 50 bucks, 45 bucks, 50 bucks. I think there was three sellers, all of them selling them for $40 plus checking sold comps. There were no sold comps. Only reason I really got this book was because I'm pretty sure this book will sell. So in essence, I got this book for free after this book sold, obviously. But that's how I looked at it. Cause this one item should sell, should pay for all the items that we got today because I only paid what $16 for all the items that you're seeing so far. And yeah, this little book should pay for everything by itself. So at least a $40 profit on this book. And so the book that we grabbed at Habitat for Humanity, I'm shipping it out right now. It literally sold within hours of me listing it. Um, I had listed a bunch of items and then later on that night, I always like to go check eBay just to see what's going on because I personally don't have notifications on and items sold. And when I looked, it was the book and it sold. I am kind of shocked that it sold that quickly. I'm not gonna lie because after I got home and did a little bit more research, 
on the books. There are so many books selling so much cheaper than my listing price. I think initially I thought I would get like 40 bucks for it. I listed mine for $33.33 plus the buyer plan shipping. And like I said, it sold immediately. Do I have listers remorse about listing it for that for that price? No, because again, like I said, I did a lot of research and I looked and there's so many people selling this book for a cheaper price and I just got lucky, I guess. I don't know. I don't know how, really how to explain it. I did see sold comps for 40 bucks, but a lot of those sold comps were new, new items. This one is obviously not new. So when I got here and I started checking all the pre-owned prices, you saw one that may sell for like 30, but that was a long time ago. And then a lot of them have been selling for like around 17 and ten dollars and i think even one sold for like four dollars and some change so that made me a little bit nervous on my price but i didn't want to just drop my price drastically so i was like i'm just gonna put 33 dollars and 33 cent and then also charge shipping and then promote that item and i think the promotion price was like 60 something cent 69 i believe maybe but around there and so yeah and it sold i am just baffled to be honest oh uh, like i said i probably if I would list it for that 40 I initially wanted to list it for, would it have sold? I don't know. I'm not sure. But it sold for $33.33, a $7 difference. I only paid $2 for this book, and it sold within hours of me buying it. So Habitat came in in the clutch because, again, I paid $16 for all of the items, and this book sold for $33.33. So after the $16 that I paid for all the items, I'm still in profit for that entire haul. So yeah, I'm glad that happened. So I can put this in the video when I went sourcing that all I have already sold one of the books. So, and it's only been hours. So yeah, with that being said, I'm out. Like I said, I paid 16 bucks for everything. You can't beat that. So if this book never, ever, ever sells, it's okay because this book will make up for it even though hopefully this book will sell one day because like I said, everybody else has prices for like around 40 bucks. I'm only gonna charge like 30 to 35 or something like that. I'm gonna make sure I have the lowest price on the market. And pretty much the same thing with this book right here. Um, estimating for general contractor, I saw a cheap price on my book. I paid $2 for each book and I think this one has sold counts for like around 30 to 40s as well, but only like one sold in the past forever. But if I'm seeing the sold price, that means it's the last 90 days. And hopefully, you know, your boy, we can slide in the sale before the year's over. I only paid $2 for it. And hopefully we can get like 30 something bucks and that would be nice. And we can make at least like $100 just on the books by themselves. And yeah, that's, that's nice. And then finally, this item blew my mind so y'all saw that i was looking in the 20 items for a dollar pail and i found this curvy carpet shampoo system and it's in here does it work i don't know i can't tell you that but i do know that all the parts seem to be in here and when i was googling and looking up the price the parts by themselves like this little hose was just 14 bucks i saw one sold just for the hose 14 dollars this container's in here I can sell the container by itself. Um, I don't even know if it works yet, but we will find out for sure. Like I said, I paid 50 cents for this item. 50 cents. I mean, that's incredible. 50 cents. Um, I think it was supposed to be five cents, to be honest, but we're not we're not gonna complain because again, you're supposed to get 20 items for a dollar. And yeah, I got charged 50 cents for this, but it doesn't matter because we paid 50 cents for this at the same time. Yeah, I can't believe they robbed me of 45 cents. That hurts me. No, I'm just kidding. But yeah, with that being said, you see I already have items that's pulled up. Um, hopefully you can get a good look at that. Like the container right there, you can see that's the first item and that's sold for $17.99 by itself. And then there's this hose right here that we see. Same hose, there was a container, now this is the hose. That sold for a best offer or like around $17.99 or so. So that's pretty cool. Then it has like the cap for the container. Then it has the actual, I guess the base of the vacuum in here. I see a dead fly, so we might should have left this outside. Let's sit for the bugs for a little bit. Then we have this little base and that looks like that's all that's in here is the actual base of what the model number. And that's all I did to find out what this was, was looking at the model number. And we have the box too. So obviously I'm gonna to try to sell them all together. I can't test to see if it works. They're pretty much attachments. And all these attachments are selling for like around $34, 40 bucks, um, 10. 
10 pre-owned. There's another one that sold for $10 pre-owned. One sold for $21.99, $12.19. So you can see there's prices that's all over the board for this vacuum cleaner that we paid 50 cents for. 50 whole cents, that's blowing my mind. Um, ooh, here goes one that sold with all the accessories for $59.99. And here's another one that sold for $31.27. Um, here's one that sold for only $15, but these are like auction items. So they're kind of like all over the price. Here goes one, $39.99, $49.99. So yeah, who knows what I'll get? We know I paid 15 cents for this item. So I should be able to get at least $40, at least $40. I'm gonna try to sell it as a set first and then if it doesn't sell for at least 50 bucks or something i'll probably break it down to sell each one for like 15 dollars an item or something to get that 45 that i want but you can't beat that this whole 50 cents you can't come on now come on you come on 50 cents but anyways nice little stop at habitat for humanity and there goes the receipt. You can see we paid $16.99 for all those items. We're going to make that back just in this little Kirby smart vacuum thing or the book or the, the club or maybe even that model jet thingy mabobber that we have. <laughs> and we have all the ammunition to that too. So I'm glad I stopped at Habitat for Humanity. It was literally in there for like around 17 to 20 minutes maybe and y'all saw i had to i walked in there empty-handed had to go get me a basket then i had to go get me a cart that's just it's good day and i can't believe i just said cart like in my mind as soon as i said cart i was like buggy <laughs> but anyways oh it is a buggy make sure that you bless somebody today because i promise you i'm gonna bless somebody tomorrow made some pretty good profits definitely happy about the day um yeah but that's about it uh yeah bless somebody i'm gonna do it tomorrow at this point in time, your boy Tay, I'm out.